Praise the Lord, family. I've been ordered to feed us bread and meat. And pray that this meal finds us in the correct position to receive it. Our food from a raven this week is, come see me. And our scripture is 1 Kings chapter 17 verses 1 through 4. And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, except at my word. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Get away from here, and turn eastward, and hide by the brook Kareth, which flows into the Jordan, and it will be that you shall drink from the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. Come see me. For those that are familiar with this particular timetable in the scripture, it was a time when several kings caused the children of Israel to sin and provoke God to anger. Read the 16th chapter for yourself. Here we find in the 17th chapter in verse 1 that a virtual nobody named Elijah appears on the scene and declares bad news to King Ahab who had uh, done more evil than all those before him. This is significant to the church for several reasons, but specifically we have a tendency to only hear who we want to hear or who our leaders endorse. But the fact that a nobody got to the king and was heard is another message in itself. Secondly, Elijah essentially mentions four things that God lives before him I stand, won't be any uh, dew or rain, and finally, accept at my word. Come see me. Did anybody catch the problems? The main problem is with the last thing that Elijah said, except at my word. And this is where many leaders, especially the prophets, get into trouble because it ain't our words. But the word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God is what we're to speak. God uses us to warn and leave the punishment of his people to himself. No do. No rain, this means death. However, God honored, he honored what Elijah spoke. And this should serve notice to us to watch what we say. And the second verse confirms it. Then the word of the Lord came to him saying, essentially four things. Get away from here. Uh huh. Get away from here and I, 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 I turn eastward. Hide by the brook, Kareth, drink from the brook and eat. From the ravens, uh, we did we catch all that. Understand this, the east is extremely significant to God. The word karif means to cut off, to cut away, or to cut up. And God was telling Elijah that you're indeed a man of God, but I need you to come see me. Uh huh. I got some things to cut up, to cut away, to cut off you. In order for you to trust me with your nourishment, trust me with your very life, and trust me for the word that comes out of your mouth. There are many of us just like Elijah that's called of God, but there's a need for us to be disciples. And God is saying, come see me. Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and praying with you.